The 10 best plays from Friday, November 29th. We begin in Beantown. Jordan Crawford leading the break and Jeff Green finishing the break above the rim. Crawford just leaves it right there. Jeff Green had a season high 31 points for the Celtics on Friday. At number nine, Dwayne Wade, the quarterback, finding his receiver, LeBron James, for the easy reverse slam. They have perfected that play. The football pass, and I would say that is touching down for LeBron James. At number eight, hustle play in Houston. James Harden saves the ball to Patrick Beverly, who swings it over to Chandler Parsons. And that play is no good unless you make the basket. Parsons knocks it down from three. Harden, that sore foot, it caused him to miss three games prior. Doesn't seem like it's bothering him there. Good ball movement from the Rockets. You want more ball movement for the Rockets, you say? Well, we aim to please here on the top 10. That ball goes around the world, and Francisco Garcia ends up making a three-pointer. That's Aaron Brooks to Omer Ashik to Ronnie Brewer, tip passing it to Garcia for the three ball. At number six, Lance Stevenson was getting just downright giddy with the assists on Friday. Behind the back to Paul George for the lay-in. And how about this one? Whips it around his back to CJ Watson in the corner, knocking down a three ball. 10 assists for Lance Stevenson. In fact, he was three points shy of yet another triple double. We're halfway home on the top 10. You take one last look at the Stevenson assist making. We go number five, Serge Ibaka, throwing it down off the Kevin Durant feed. And look at this next replay, Serge Ibaka stiff arming the Aussie Andrew Bogut. That's Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. At number five, number four, the rookie, Ben McLemore, stealing and flying. The former Jayhawk taking flight. And he wasn't done. Look out, Darren Collison. A double dose of Ben McLemore at number four as he throws one down on the former UCLA Bruin. Number three, this proved to be the game winner at the Highlight Factory Friday night, Al Horford. He's always had a nice little touch from that 18 to 20 foot range. The Mavericks daring him to shoot it, and he made them pay. The Hawks got the one point win. At number two, Derek Williams, his first game as a king, and he takes a seat on the throne. Throwing it down off the Gravis Vasquez. Ooh, backdoor cut, Derek Williams. Look at it one more time. One handed grab and flush, and that's Blake Griffin trying to swoop in and interrupt that play. At number one, though, it was the game of the night, and it gave us the play of the night. Tabo Cephalosha saving it to Russell Westbrook doing an about face in the corner and knocking down a three ball. These two teams have given us two classics already this season in a span of two weeks. Andre Iguodala, the game winner a couple weeks ago, Russell Westbrook on Friday night.